I was actually not quite ready to start recording, but accidentally hit the record button, so here we go. Open that, and we're doing the 17th. I see the sound bar is moving just fine. Hi there, and welcome to this day in history for September 17th. September 17th is the 260th day of the year in the Gregorian calendar, 261st in leap years, with 105 days remaining to the end of the year. Today's word is persona non grata. This comes to us from Latin, and it means person not welcome. In international diplomacy, the persona non grata is a foreign person who's entering or remaining in a particular country is prohibited by that country's government, usually in reference to diplomats or diplomatic staff. In non-diplomatic usage, this can refer to someone as uh, another way of saying that person is not popular or accepted by others, a non-person or an outlaw. I've been a persona non grata. Just have to roll with it and move forward. I'd like to take a moment here to mention that links to my research are included in the show notes. Ask you to go ahead and click that like button. Clickety doo da. <laughs> And uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Stay to the end for outtakes, because <clears throat> we usually have some. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Remember that you can share this video with others with the link in your email, messaging, or social media. And there's also a link in the show notes to the This Day in History, my This Day in History series, It'll be in the show notes and on YouTube. It'll also be up here in an iCard. That way you could just pull that playlist up and watch them one after the other. <laughs> Not that I'm all that, but sometimes I do that. I'll pull up a playlist and just click the start button and watch them one after the other. Not my own stuff, of course, because I already know that. But yeah, I have some, I have some watch lists. We're going to start today in the year 1630 when the city of Boston, Massachusetts was founded. That was a long time ago, kids. On September 17, 1776, the Presidio of San Francisco was founded in what was then called New Spain. The United States Constitution was signed in Philadelphia on September 17, 1787. American abolitionist Harriet Tubman escaped from slavery on September 17, 1849. This is the birthday of Scottish-American businessman David Dunbar Buick, born September 17, 1884. He founded the Buick Motor Company and lived to the age of 74. This is the birthday of American outlaw Billy the Kid, born September 17, 1859. He went by a variety of names during his life and was a wild and willful yahoo, killing at least eight men before he himself was gunned down at the age of 21. This is the birthday of American baseball player and manager Rube Foster, born September 17, 1879. Considered by historians to have perhaps been the best African-American pitcher in the first decade of the 1900s, He's also notable for having organized the Negro National League and is known as the father of black baseball. He was inducted into the National Baseball Hall of Fame in 1981 by the Veterans Committee, and he lived to the age of 51. This is the birthday of American businessman J. Willard Marriott, born September 17, 1900. He founded the Marriott Corporation and lived to the age of 84. On September 17, 1920, the National Football League was organized as the American Professional Football Association in Canton, Ohio. On September 17, 1928, the Okeechobee hurricane struck southeastern Florida, killing more than 2,500 people. This gives rise to the idea or the question about named hurricanes. It's apparent in reading about historic hurricanes that of course, they have not all been named as they are now, so I had to look into that a little bit. There's actually a page on the National Hurricane Center 
National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration page. That's nhc.noaa.gov about tropical cyclones and the tropical cyclone naming history and retired names. I've put a link in the show notes for you, but briefly they started out naming hurricanes after the particular Saints Day upon which the hurricane had occurred. After a while, of course, this could become confusing if you had a hurricane on San Felipe Day in 1825, 1876, and 1828, as actually did happen. Back in the 1800s, there was an Australian meteorologist who began giving women's names to tropical storms. (laughs) At some point, the United States meteorologists were trying to name storms alphabetically, and in 1953 began using female names for the storms. In 1978, men's and women's names were included in some storm lists, mostly over in the Pacific. And in 1979, male and female names were included in the list for the Atlantic and Gulf of Mexico. I found this whole naming convention very interesting, but it might be a bit much to go over in this particular video. So yes, I have included the link to that hurricane naming page for you in the show notes. This is the birthday of American captain, pilot, and astronaut Edgar Mitchell, born September 17, 1930. He was the sixth person to walk on the moon, and after his time at NASA, he co-founded the non-profit Parapsychological Research Institute of Noetic Sciences in 1973. I think I put a link to that also. This is also the birthday of American philosopher, author, and motivational speaker, Jim Ron, born September 17, 1930. He lived to the age of 79. On September 17, 1961, the world's first retractable roof stadium, the Civic Arena, opened in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. The Space Shuttle Enterprise was unveiled by NASA on September 17, 1976. The Camp David Accords were signed by Israel and Egypt on September 7, 1978. Stunningly beautiful and talented, Vanessa Williams became the first black Miss America on September 17, 1983. On September 17, 2001, the New York Stock Exchange reopened for trading after the September 11 attacks. This was the longest closure since the Great Depression. And I think that's going to do it for us today. I hope you learned something you didn't know before. I know I sure did. I always do. (laughs) If you enjoy this series, you can check out the playlist that I've linked in the show notes for you that goes to the playlist for this entire Day in History series. I also have another channel. You can take a look at that if you like. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Give it a like if you enjoyed this video. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. Feel free to share this video with others. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time. Parapsychological. (laughs) okay mouthful of words there too many distractions (laughs) this is what happens when you don't clean up your script (laughs) i might leave that part out (laughs) i don't know how all that's going to go together or if it's even going to make it to the video we'll just see that's not going to go yeah we're going to cut those out that'll all be laying on the cutting room floor So I'll just do that whole thing over. (laughs) That might not make it into the video, we'll see. Changing it up. 